I've run out of drink. This is a crazy situation. I guess it would be Jim Binks, but if, I mean, if you were to imagine that every hundred miles of that route was going to cost twenty-four ninety-nine, then you know, you're probably looking at a few hundred quid's worth of uh, product there. Especially if you want all of their trains as well, that's another eleven ninety-nine per train. Even assuming you get a discount for buying all at once, that's uh, yeah. The problem is, it's just not cost-effective to make huge routes um, because the number of people that buy an enormous route is the same as the number of people that buy a short route. Um, so it's uh, it's a tricky balance to try and make sure that the uh, the right length of route is picked so that the uh, um, people get the sort of experience that they want to enjoy. One thing we have not found um, is that uh, if you take Donna Pass for example, which is 150 miles, one of the longer routes we've got and you look at um, the scenarios there are six and eight hour scenarios there um, so and what we found is that people don't play them um, they're just not interested in scenarios that long what they actually want is the uh, people generally play a scenario for between 30 and 60 minutes generally somewhere between 30 and 45 is the most common hi paul t welcome back to the channel Okay, so we're starting West Highland Line. Driver, please enter the RT TV system before proceeding to collect your train. Now I have to remember how to do this, I think. RETV test token just uh, required. Please press the make call button. 2278 signal by Two two seven eight seven one. Bangladesh. State your message. Over. Two two seven eight. Request to enter the system. Over. Two two seven eight. Press receive to accept test token. Over. Two two seven eight. Now have test token on display. Over. Two two seven eight. Press send to enter system. Over. Two two seven eight. Understood. Out. Okay, so we're in the system, and uh, now we need to change cabs. That's it. And let's get to our next uh, waypoint. Love the 
So it looks like we've got a uh, ground frame um, giving us the uh, no permission to proceed uh, out of this little yard area there. So let's just uh, get slowed down before we get to there. Probably wait for him to go past and then we can proceed. Cheers, Dark. Thanks for joining us, mate. There we go. We've got the signal to proceed. So we're going to Fort William Main Reverse for our first waypoint. Stop here. Change cabs, move uh, again and move forward onto the down Malay line. So we're going onto the down Malay line, which is directly in front of us. You can see the, uh, the waypoint sitting here for us. Go back and get those tankers from that uh, yard over there. What's my favourite steam loco that's been created by Dugtail so far? Hmm. That's. Uh, I don't know. The Duchess that I was driving earlier on is probably one of my favourites. I love that loco. The A4 that we did is certainly a personal favourite. It's a personal favourite in real life, uh, and I like the model as well. So we just need to check, make sure we're going into the right place, get those three wagons. speed limit while in the yard so just slowing down for that. So this is West Highland Line Extension which is produced by a uh, third party developer Thompson Interactive um, who also worked on projects such as the uh, Glasgow Airport Rail Link. Um, 
lovely, lovely route with the custom RETV signaling system, which really stands it apart. And this beautiful 37 Loco, which really is a lovely model. Hey Warrior, good to see you on the channel, thanks for joining us this evening. Gently buff up to these wagons. So the next wagons are just over here, so as soon as we've cleared the point, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and get that sorted. A little bit of overspeeding, follow by over braking there. I'm not sure that signal gantry applies to us, but the looks of it, it looks like it doesn't, so I'm going to proceed anyway. And this might be a really short scenario. No, I think that big gantry is actually for the main line. Right, we changed the point, so let's just get back and pick up those wagons. Right, when depart when you have the signal for the token ahead. 
Okay, we've got the uh, token and we're ready to proceed. And as the pop up said, this gantry doesn't actually apply to us. Now we get to see a little bit of the line. We've done fictional stuff in the past, so for example the original, um, what has now become the uh, the Class 801, uh, back in TS 2012 we did the uh, the Super Express train I think it was called, which was actually what, what like I said, was, uh, eventually morphed into being the uh, uh, Class 801, uh, but we'll run it off King's Cross, so we've certainly done it in the past, but what we found was that uh, while it's a fictional train, people aren't actually that bothered about it. What they want to do is drive the trains that they're familiar with and the ones that they see on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I think now the 801 has become a real thing, or at least it's imminently going to be real. Uh, I think people are a lot more interested in it, but certainly the uh, Super Express train we found wasn't always that popular. So uh, I don't know whether you'll see too many fictional products from us going forwards. Forty limit, so I can speed up a bit now. Get some growling going. Lovely jointed rail sound. Fantastic. Interrupted by a momentary mo rubbishy frame rate from my computer. Two, two, we should let the signal box know that we're clear of the platform. Hey Goy Camera, good to see you on the channel, thanks for joining us this evening.
so we're running the West Highland Line, we've just left Port William and uh, this scenario takes us uh, a little way along the line to Glenfinnan. Glenfinnan being the uh, location of the famous Glenfinnan Viaduct as seen most popularly in uh, Harry Potter. red signal up ahead, which I think is an automatic, we will uh, change as we get to it, but uh, we do need to treat it like a red signal. the green so let's go. Remember rightly this is actually uh, protecting a um, there's a bridge uh, just past here and it's protecting to make sure that uh, you can't enter any of this uh, sequence with the level crossings and the bridge and so forth until everything is down and clear and you've got actually the right of way through the whole thing. Slow down for this bridge. Hi, new image. Uh, yes, graphic details. You can adjust uh, a number of settings to help run the game uh, better on lower spec PCs. Uh, I would say if you've got uh, Intel graphics, you're still going to have trouble, but. Uh, one of the settings is the um, dynamic uh, lighting, I think it is dynamic lighting, we're just struggling to remember the name because we changed it, the you know, the option in uh, TS15. Um, dynamic lighting, if you switch that off, uh, actually you dramatically improves the frame rate because uh, it obviously has a quite a bad effect on the visuals as well, but uh, you, don't, you don't forget dynamic lighting. Uh, but if your laptop can't do it, at least it makes the rest of the game playable. Up and down, well, up normally means going to London, and down means going away from London, if uh, memory serves. Or, or if, if the line doesn't go to and from London, then it's to and from the nearest um, major uh, place, major city. Back into the 40s, so we're clear of all that noise. Uh, yes, Scotty Cameron, it's uh, actually a screenshot of our Class 319 um, cab uh, taken in uh, with the driver's seat and uh, and then green screened up behind me. So I think it's better than seeing the back of my the, the rest of my garage. <laughs> Getting a little bit panicky there, I saw some red, but thankfully it wasn't a red that I needed to worry about. So our first uh, stopping point is at Lokoyo, um, in just over three and a half miles. In the meantime, take in some of this beautiful scenery and the sound. Enjoy the sound. Oh, 
Oh dear. AWS alarm went off again. What are we going to get uh, messed about on now? Ah, we've got a 10 mile per hour speed limit coming up ahead, so more fun! going down or will be any minute now so uh, that'll make it all the more fun to slow down which is probably why they warn you at the top of course the uh, the other thing you can run on the route um, is the um, if you've got western lines of scotland take two of the light weathered black fives and run them uh, double header on the front of the consist and it's uh, rather like the uh, Ian Riley black fives uh, which run up and down here very regularly actually. Points for timekeeping here. I'm running quite slow for some of that. It's been a while since I've driven this route, so I'm not quite used to all of the little uh, unique features of it, shall we say. That speed limit snuck back up to 40 there now, so let's get sped up again. What's the end of this going on about now? That red light in front of us there then. New road crossings here. That's better. Getting a decent speed up again now. Running way behind, but never mind. I pick, uh, we picked up the uh, the Hornby TTS um, Jupiter Gloucester. Beautiful logo. 
uh, and sound actually, given it's the cheap sound, the twin track sound that Hornby are doing these days. Absolutely blown away by it, it's superb. I knew image. Um, well, there's an academy sequence uh, system uh, which trains you with just about every aspect of the game, um, starting right from the very beginnings, uh, teaching you this from how to get a train moving. Um, and then when you go to pick a scenario to do, if you look at the uh, difficulty level, each scenario says whether it's easy, medium, hard, or very hard. Uh, and there's also an estimated duration of the scenario. So if you want something nice and easy, pick an easy scenario that's probably about 15-20 minutes long um, and you shouldn't expect anything too difficult. But certainly I would definitely go through um, <coughs> all of the Academy scenarios first. They're only about 5 minutes or so each, uh, but <coughs> you will certainly learn an awful lot about uh, driving the train in those uh, in those different times, but you'll learn about all the different types of train as well. The scenarios for electric trains, diesel trains, um, steam trains, even, um, and also for different types of operation like uh, freight uh, coupling and uh, passenger operation. So you'll learn just about everything you need to know you to uh, run through those academy scenarios. Hey Cop King and Kilville, welcome to the channel this evening. We're just on the uh, West Highland Line extension on our way uh, to stop at uh, Lock Isle um, in uh, just about under about half a mile. The other thing we've got new images. There's a um, there are actually simple controls. Um, so you've got the HUD. Um, you can use the keyboard controls. Uh, there is this thing called simple controls, where um, instead of having all of these levers here, it actually just gives you one, which is almost like a start-stop control, um, which makes it really, really simple. But to be honest, I think if you do the academy scenarios, you will figure out that the uh, what we call the expert controls, they're not that hard, um, and they're also a lot more rewarding. This is where whatever score we thought we had uh, will disappear.